all is said for Kyle Walker to join the club Arsenal. Hello everyone and thank you for being part of the Arsenal chapter and make your point subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you do not miss out on whatever we've got to bring to as long as it is sports and as long as it is Arsenal related right about here at the Arsenal chapter with me your host Abu Kaus as we talk sports right about here heading for the summer transfer window and things are going on quite well for the club Arsenal already identifying targets for the summer transfer window and one of the football players that has been identified is none other than Kyle Walker Peters there will be remember that there are two Kyle Walkers you know in the Premier League there's a Kyle Walker from Southampton and the Kyle Walker from Manchester City we're not talking about the Manchester City football player we're talking about Southampton football player Kyle Walker who is a brilliant football player very good right back undoubtedly they are good both both of them are definitely quite good football players and both of them are defenders so uh anyway Kyle peter Kyle walker peters uh he's been playing for he's been playing for uh southampton for some time and hope you remember that he was bought by southampton from uh from he was playing uh, which club was he playing for oh let me try I remember i was playing for Tottenham what's passing it was a 13 million pound that uh, that uh, Southampton paid for this gentleman. 13 million pound is what uh, they paid for uh, this gentleman. And now, Asno are interested in signing uh, this uh, defender. He is one of the best defenders right about now, though he's considered quite a number of goals. That's why he definitely ended up uh, in the position. That's why Southampton ended up in the position it did. But uh, him as a football player, uh, analyzing him personally not the club him as a football player is a brilliant one a very good one undoubtedly so uh it would be remembered that uh Arsenal has tried his level best to make sure that they can get uh they're trying to uh see this uh, summer transfer window as a uh, big weapon to make sure they can uh use this summer transfer window get the signings they definitely need and also um uh, once they get the signings they need they can favorably compete in uh, the coming season and right about now we definitely know that with last season uh last season's performance Arsenal are in a position now they want football players who will definitely take them to the next level make sure uh, that possibly the premier league uh, premier league is uh, is at uh, the Emirates uh, this coming season. Anyway, I think it's going to be it's going to be a a, a, a bit competitive summer transfer window as quite, almost every club this time round is saying they need to shop, they need to get rid of a few football players, and Arsenal is not being left alone, left being left out because they are trying as much as they can to make sure they can get. Uh, a, the football players they definitely need. Oh, remember that uh, some of the football players that have been linked to the club, Arsenal, uh, there are a number, but Declan Rice is in there. Uh, Declan Rice has been linked to Arsenal for some time in the summer transfer window, and then uh, right about now, uh, general transfer window, and then now. It's been linked to Arsenal for a very long period of time. And now, not only is he being linked, but it's very, very close. But... Mikel Atete and the technical director of Arsenal, uh, Mr. Gaspar, now sporting director of Arsenal, came up and said they definitely need another central defender. Yes, another another defender, you know, one that is going to do a big impact uh, right there. So uh, Kyle Walker-Peters is one that was definitely uh, identified and is an English professional football player who plays as a fullback uh, for Premier League club. Southampton and has been playing for Southampton for uh, a bit of time and has also played for the English national team. Hope you remember that uh, uh, this gentleman was born on the 13th of April and this was in 1997 and that definitely makes him 26 years of age. 26 years of age is definitely still young and we think he can still he still has a lot that he can put on the table. 26 years old he can pin he can pin uh, at 26 years old, I think uh, he should be capable of paying four-year or five-year contracts. In, in these four or five years, he's still able to play very well. And the thing is, 
he's a defender. He's not going to be running around all the time. No. It's, so I think... Well, there'll be there's a bit of running in uh, in uh, in in the defense section, but not as like the midfield anyway. So I I think uh, if Arsenal ha- can get him for four years or five years, it's still definitely quite good because the fact that he's at 26, 26 years definitely that is a brilliant thing. Uh, still young and still time is on his side, and uh, I totally remember uh, uh, people have been asking because. Uh, I've been asking about his height and saying he's not too tall for a defender. And uh, he's 1.74 meters. But I want to clarify something. I don't think sometimes uh, being in the defense, you have to be tall. We've seen instances and scenarios where a defender, because of his height, it's a disadvantage. You can have a very short striker and you're a very tall defender and definitely it's being a very big problem for you. So I think definitely, I definitely think that um, sometimes height doesn't matter. It shouldn't take height as a big thing when it comes to the defense. I know it's something, it's good, it's okay, but for a full back, height, uh, I know everybody wants if they are full back. Everyone wants their fullback to be the la- at the height of possibly somebody like uh, like Virgil Van Dijk, who is uh, one point nine plus. But also, they have their own disadvantages. Look at like Harry Maguire; he's a very tall one, but still. And when you look at uh, average for people, okay, I'll take like uh, maybe uh, even short defenders who have sh- who are not that. Tall, definitely they have also come and made an impact i think uh, the reasoning has come on has come over the time the reasoning of uh, the mentality of defenders must be 1.9 has definitely been going down season after season year after year i think it's definitely getting down but i mean a tall defender will help in some circumstances but in some circumstances he definitely won't so uh, and 1.7 isn't that bad. 1.7 is not that bad. Not that bad. I don't think 1.7 is that bad. But for a full back, 1.7, not that bad. It's not, I couldn't say it's the best ball. It's not that bad. And you can use, he can use his height to to do, to his advantage, really. And I think... Uh, people are saying he's too short for a, for a defender. I think I think it's okay. I think 1.74 meters is definitely okay. Then his height is 62 kilograms. That's still okay. That's uh, people. Somebody is asking when did he join Southampton? He joined Southampton from um, uh, from uh, Spurs from Tottenham Old Spurs, and that was in 2020. He, and uh, somebody asking uh, when did he join uh, Tottenham Old Spurs? He joined Tottenham Old Spurs in 2016. Okay, uh, please, I think, I think the, the thing with hate, uh, something with hate and defenders, I think that is something that is going away with yours. It's an added advantage for a striker to be tall, but it's no 100% in modern football. 100%, it's not nowhere near 100%. Modern football is not about height. Defense is not about height. It goes to tactic. <clears throat> tactic and a bit of of energy in there but hate is just an added advantage anyway uh let us know what you definitely think about this uh gentleman this uh star kyle walker peters joining the club arsenal as uh arsenal are looking to even launch the first bid <coughs> sorry arsenal are looking to look the, uh, to launch the first bid and let's see what his current market price is and possibly we can take it from there and see whether Arsenal will be going in for uh, the, for this gentleman. Because if he's too expensive, then I think it's going to be a problem. But he's, I, I don't think he should be expensive. I think he should be around £16 million to 20, 20, 16. I think it should be around £16 million to something like 25 something like that. Uh, let me get to uh, footballtransfers.com and I see. Uh, um, okay. So Kyle Walker Peters' current transfer value is between 15.4 million euros to to uh, 
uh, 25.6 million euros. Uh, yeah, that is quite understandable. That's not a stupid figure. I think that is quite understandable for a club uh, like uh, for a club like Arsenal. Arsenal do not want to spend a lot of money on football players, buying expensive football players. And I think for a fullback of his caliber, I definitely think it's going to be it's a it's it's okay that's definitely okay 15.4 million euros to uh, 25.6 million euros is definitely uh, it's definitely okay and i think uh, this is one of the play, one of the players that Arsenal is going to definitely going to be going with so looking at uh, uh i don't think he's i don't think he's going to be um let me see i don't think he's going to He's going. Uh, he's going. Uh, I don't think Southampton have got a chance of keeping him, if Arsenal are very interested. Because look, already uh, Southampton has gone to relegation, hasn't it? Southampton is in relegation, and is going to championship. I think definitely it's of his advantage if he wants to remain in the Premier League. I don't think any football player would settle for going. Oh, there is one that did, uh, like Alexander Alexander Zinchenko. Alexander Zinchenko is a football player that. Uh, not Alexander Zinchenko. Sorry, uh, sorry. I don't know. I had Zinchenko in my mind. Zinchenko is a national football player now. Um, Alexander um, Mitrovic. Mitrovic was offered quite a lot of opportunities. Uh, to leave Fulham and join stronger Premier League clubs. He had quite big chances when Fulham was going for relegation, but he stood to him his his he stood and said he's not going anywhere. He's going down with his team and he's coming back with it in the Premier League. And that's what happened and uh, the fact that Fulham has not gone for relegation again is comfortably in the Premier League. Definitely, I think it worked on quite well for him. So, I don't think it will be the, the case with Kyle Walker-Peters because Kyle Walker-Peters, he's looking at, uh, he's looking at uh, remaining in the Premier League, uh, remaining in uh, top football, Premier League football, not going down for relegation. And uh, the fact that a club that is offering him is also a big one. Club that is offering him the chance is definitely a big one. Definitely, that shows you that uh, there are big chances, uh, massive chances of him uh, joining the club. As his agent has already met with the management at Arsenal, and a few things have been discussed about this transfer, about the fee, about uh, transfer value of fee, uh, salary, things like that. And everything seems to be going on quite well, moving quite smoothly. And I think it's going to be a brilliant one. I'll take on a few questions. Uh, somebody's still asking how much did Southampton pay for work Kyle Walker Peters? Uh, paid thirteen million, as I told you before. Now for paid Tottenham it's past thirteen million. Where is Kyle Walker? Southampton. Let me see. I've got quite a big number of questions right here. Which team does Kyle Walker Peters support? <laughs> he supports. He supports. Uh, as he stands, but now it's Southampton. That's what. That's all I know about. He's a Southampton supporter. And how tall is he? I've already told you. Uh, how fast is Kyle Walker's par? How fast is Kyle Waters, Walker Peters in miles per hour? Mm. So, uh, it is 21.3 meters per hour. Anyway, that shouldn't, uh, quite a big number of questions coming in about this football player, and many uh, people are interested in knowing a few things about this gentleman. 
as uh, he isn't that popular he's a good one but not so popular not very many football uh, fans know him but he's a very good one and uh, he's a very good defender i must say and if he gets into the combination the collaboration of of uh, f- uh, Arsenal, foot- Arsenal football players and uh, like the defenders uh, of go- uh, that are Arsenal ca- like Kieran Tierney, uh, Takehiro Timiasu, then Maitland Nails, Rob Holding, Alexander Zinchenko, who is a midfielder but defensively. Then uh, Jakub Kiwia, also William Saliba, Ben White, Gabriel Mangale, definitely that will be a brilliant thing. If he can come and be part of uh, the defense section at the club, Arsenal, that will definitely be a great move. Otherwise, where are you watching from? Which part of the world wa- are you watching from? Just make it up and subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you do know me. So that whatever I would have to got blink to, as long as it is posts and as long as it is um, as long as it is Arsenal related, right up here at the Arsenal chapter with me, uh, your host Abu Kaza. I tell you, thank you and goodbye for now.